Like some all first verse shit. Fat boy. Damn, I'm wild. Shout out to Damn, I'm wild. Fat boy, what's going on? Shout out to Damn, I'm wild. Damn, I'm wild. Damn, I'm wild, man. Shout out to you, brother. Shout out to Fat boy. Damn, I'm wild. Damn, I'm wild. Check out Damn, I'm wild. Man, Fat boy. Cook up. My fat boy say, I respect the culture. I advise you niggas to do I should know better than to do a recap after one watch, right? I just watched this battle and shit. I felt like I got it. I got enough of, of what I needed to see. It's a PG battle for a reason. No diss to neither one of these niggas. I thought they both was dope. So I got a couple critiques and shit. We're gonna keep it light today. And Lord knows the long nose leave your wide open. So it's both eyes open till your eyes closing. Ain't no lacking with that action to the ride over. Cause if a nigga pride open, he get pride open. Do more and say less. But know what's coming with it when you say yes. Cause niggas pulling shit like they ain't stretched. Authentic and fake mess. What up, y'all? Shit, man, fat boy, checking the fuck in. Y'all niggas already know what time it is, man. Some early in the morning shit. Um, Ace I Mean versus Burt Buck. I like this battle, yo. First thing I want to say about it is, we're keeping it light today. We ain't going to get crazy. First thing I want to say about this battle is, this is what a, a PG is supposed to look like. You can tell you got two dope MCs in front of you who need some polishing. They still need some work, bro. They got some things they need to clean up. Um, I think the obvious is that Ace I Mean is the more polished lyricist in this but please don't sleep on Burt Bucks I like a lot of what he was doing um, I watched Champion prior to watching this so I listened to what Anwar had to say I listened to what Ace I mean had to say about this battle um, I feel like in the second round I'm gonna be jumping all over the place because I just finished watching it and cut the camera on you feel me I feel like in the second round I liked more of what Burt Bucks was doing. It was more attacking. He had a lot more gunplay in his round. And I felt like Ace more so was just showing lyrically he's better. But I feel like we knew that coming into this battle. If you've seen the other two Ace I Mean battles, if you've seen any of what Burt Bucks has done prior to this battle, I think we knew that already. Um, I like the freestyle uh, that included Tate Rock from, uh, from Ace I Mean. I thought that was dope in his round. But I felt like that was really the highlight of his round. It wasn't the craziest thing you ever heard. Obviously, you give him points for that. But I, I still like what he was doing in that round. Um, but I feel like I like what Burke was doing more in the second. Uh, in the first round, I felt like that was the clearest round. You know, because both MCs finished clean. They both got the whole round off with no chokes, no nothing. Um, one thing about Burke Bucks I want to say, and then I'm going to speak on Ace I Mean. Bucks, if you watching this, bro. One thing you got to work on, homie, your delivery. You got to put more passion in that delivery, bro. You got dope content. I feel like some of your bars is a little too light. I guess the simplicity of it make it seem a little too light. But some of that shit hit hard. It's just the delivery of it. I don't know if it's because your voice is a certain way. You don't want to go too loud and lose your voice. Or maybe it was just this performance. But you got that growl in your voice. Like, if you deliver that growl behind certain lines, it'll hit harder. The delivery got to come off stronger. But, like, if you just rapping, it sounds like you just rapping to be rapping in some spots. And it's like the content would land a little better if you put a little more emphasis on some of that delivery. Ace I mean, I think, is ready for the next level in regards to his abilities and his talent. I feel like the problem is he's not polished. When I talked about him in my previous blog where I addressed his last battle that he had, I felt like his problem was that he's not clean enough in his material, and that's still a problem, obviously. I don't know if as I don't know if it's his pace that's fucking him up and keeping him from delivering his material clean, or if it's just his 
rehearsal of his material. I won't say that he don't have it. I mean, a choke says otherwise, but he could bring it back. So it's not like he, you know, didn't do a good job of going over his material, but you gotta remember your shit, bro. It's gonna cost you rounds, obviously. I felt like as good as this battle was and as good as Ace I mean did, I feel like Burt Bucks kind of slightly, I felt like he won this battle to me. I felt like he won the third. When you choke, you just done. I'm old school with it, my nigga. Once you choke, when you fuck up bad, you done. The third round, you done. You got the first round clear. And like I said, I felt like in the second round, he just proved lyrically he was better, but that's not always enough. I don't feel like you necessarily attacked your opponent. I feel like you was talking to your opponent. And I felt like in the second round, Bucks didn't snap, but he had some dope shit in there. I feel like some of the shit the crowd slept on, but I don't, I don't go off the crowd. I like what the nigga was doing. Some of the shit he said, it should have got reaction, but part of that is his fault based on his delivery. That third round from Ace I mean, though, was fucking crazy. If the nigga stay polished, he stay clean through that round, he win that round, I think, pretty clearly. But like I said, lyrically, he's, he's better. I think that's that just goes without really saying. But that third round, he had some lines in that motherfucker. I was like, damn. At the same time, I felt the same way about Burke Bucks. I felt like he had some lines in that bitch and was like, bro, I think niggas are sleeping on what this nigga capable of. He a new nigga. He needs some time to develop. I think he need to step his pen up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And obviously over time, he going to get there. But boy, both of them niggas had good ass third rounds. Um... I think throughout the battle, that was the theme. I felt like Ace talent stood out the way it should have. And I felt like Burke wasn't catching the crowd all the way. But the nigga had lines in that bitch if he was paying attention. He had some fire-ass lines in that. So that's just my opinion on the battle. Like I said, this is what a PG is supposed to be like, bro. You should be able to watch the battle and... Observe the talent and be able to critique it based on the fact that I know they got work to do. So I'm not mad that oh I watched this and it wasn't it wasn't an A1 battle. I don't expect the world out of these niggas just yet. It's really all about critiquing right now, y'all. So that's all I really got for this battle. If you got Ace I mean winning the second, you felt like lyrically he was just better. I'm not mad at that. I fully understand that. Niggas saying he won the battle 2-1. I get that. I'm not tripping off that at all. I think just for me, for preference. I felt like I said Bucks was more on the attack in the second round. I like what he was doing a little bit more. And I just felt like, to me, it's obviously preference. I felt like he won that second round, yo. Let me know what y'all niggas think. Yo, like, comment, subscribe. Nothing too crazy today. Just getting on camera to let niggas know I watched the battle. Jamal your man, Fat Boy, signing the fuck out. I respect the culture. I advise you niggas to do the same. Hey, yo, Posey. You know what it is, my nigga. Take us home. Please don't unplug the game.